<laughs> Alright, we're recording now. So we're back. So the next topic we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss Mr. Columbus Short. For all you gladiators and scandalholics. So Columbus Short. That <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell us how you feel, Trouble. I'm so angry mm. with him. Okay. Angry. I'm angry and and just disappointed. I guess maybe that's, okay. that's a all better right. word. Okay. I, you know when I think all of us here are gladiators. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. We all oh, yeah. We love yeah. the show. Kind of have a, sort of. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Most of us have frequent been watching, flyer travel so much. She, she can't not, get caught up. We but anyway, we're we we working, working on her. her. Working on right. her. But if you've been watching the show from the very very beginning, it is. It captures you, it, it mm. holds you, it mm. takes you on a roller coaster ride, highs and lows, and it's one of those things you just, you gotta watch it. And I'm always so wound up after the show that it takes me a minute to come yes. down off of that high. Yes, and it never does. just roll over and you go You have to, to sleep. watch the news or something. You yes. got to. Right. Because you you're, 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 I'm, I need a drink. So many, so many nights, so many Thursday nights, I'm just left in the center of the bed <laughs> with my jaw open like, yes. wow. Because you're like, wait, what the happen. fuck? And it's like... <laughs> Right, so, and it's so much going on. It's like so it's so many different storylines going yeah. on. If you like what, and then so, what, and then what? So yeah. I look at this another Shonda Rhimes great creation. Mm -hmm. You know that the, that bitch knows she can write. You mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. the, where the the story is centered around a black woman, a black woman, and I'm sure that's a whole nother topic as we get into the relationship mm -hmm. and this and that. I know there's been a lot of controversy about it, but as far as Columbus Short is concerned, I feel like you have this great opportunity yes. and I get so sick and tired of seeing young black people mm -hmm. male female whatever mm -hmm. in positions where you know it could be anybody else because they don't have to put us anywhere yes. yeah. the whole mm -hmm. show could have been all white, all white. like most cast mm -hmm. are right you know and right. then here you are in a position right. and, and, and Harrison certainly didn't have to be black that exactly. character, his character specific character exactly right yeah, I feel like because they're the only two, right? Well, her daddy and her and mom. Her daddy, right, that's a whole right, nother. Right, right. Well, see, now I feel a little bit different about it. Okay. Only for the simple fact that this is my thought of it. Now, again, I haven't heard the interview he did on the Tom Jones. So I, I have to hear, high, I have to hear <laughs> his spill on and his schmill. So as I stand right now, Columbus Short was on the show. He got charges for abusing his wife. Mm -hmm. And then it was talked to him getting put, in off, put off the show. So that's where I stand with it. Mm -hmm. But my thing is this. Why is it when it comes to black entertainers, black business people, why does our personal life affect our professional life so much? Because mm -hmm. we've had so many white politicians, so many white entertainers, Charlie Sheen, athletes, Charlie, Charlie, mm -hmm. Charlie Sheen, so many different people mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. have gone on and did the craziest things in their personal life and showed the work on Monday, mm -hmm. and it was okay. The difference between... He ain't Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen had a whole show built around him. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not going to excuse it. I'm not going to say what he did was, was mm -hmm. right at right, all. Right. Because I thought they should have let him go a long time ago. Because <laughs> no one man should be should ever be able to do all that he did and still be able to go to Charlie work. Charlie Sheen morning. is funny as hell, though. He is. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, but the, the difference <laughs> is, is that Columbus Short... Your role was not that significant on the show. That's, that's true. true. And you're not bringing in the money. Right. You're exactly. not bringing in the money. Exactly. You could be there or not. And, and let's you be clear. Now you're not. And, it was and, just that easy to right. get rid of. And him. Charlie Sheen comes from a, di a Hollywood dynasty too. Right. So yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, that's because you look. I look at a Robert Downey Jr. and I'm like, this man has oh, done it all. Wow. Yes. And now he is like the number one I Hollywood man. I think part of it because your point is your point is. Drew, yeah. right, Drew and Barrymore. she's from a dynasty. She right. is from a dynasty. But, but, okay, but then again, what we're just saying, two Caucasian actors, two actors from a dynasty. So, Charlie Sheen and Drew Barrymore. So, why is it that we don't have that get out of jail free card? Because we don't have, we don't the, have the role. We don't have the roles, the background. The look dynasty. At, and then, I mean, when I look at Colum I mean, Columbus the Short actors. role, mm -hmm. think about it now. I mean, like I said, his, 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 his role could be or not be. He didn't have right. to be like I'm a Mr. Eye Candy, candy but let's be clear: what we what are we really going to miss in his storyline? Nothing. I mean, because I kept saying, line. I kept saying from the very very beginning, 
of all of the characters that are on the show, they kind of touch base on every person except for except him. For him. Except yeah, for we him. Really, this is the really first really season we really saw any of his real back. And, and we still, still don't really know. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I thought yeah. I was going to see more mm-hmm. this season, but I, I did. Was but more and, I was, yeah. and I was be disappointed. Naked. And let me be clear. <laughs> as a gladiator, I'm not in love with this dude. Right. So black he, or not, neither am I. I'm, I like he he taught his his rate of speech is too much. I just need for him to go and do some of them B movies that he that I'm <laughs> that used to him used doing. To do. right. Go Theta. ahead and go ahead and pop Theta. pop. pop. <laughs> Theta. 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 <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> Whatever, say what you want. Love the movie. I do love the movie, but I love the Papa Lock King in the movie. I love Darren. Oh yeah. So oh, he, I love oh, like, here's the thing. But let's be clear. If if Harrison's character didn't give us anything else, he gave us gladiators. Yeah. Remember that was yeah, his, that was that his, was his, his dialogue. His that was we his are gladiators. Yeah. yeah he's so like, we're here for a living. Yeah. I mean, we gonna. But he said it like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Respect for Huck. Well, I hey, love uh, hey, right. hey, yeah. no, Huck. 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 Huck is the mother and we got, man. But we got okay. more backstory. Oh, you're right. We got more backstory. We, we know his know whole Huck family. All of that. We know, all we that. know Harrison got he arrested. He was living in the subway. So that makes hanging out at Metro Center. Did Chandra in did her mind ever. Really have, really have plans, but plans. that's why I think, and I said this to um, Mink earlier in the week. That's why I think there's more to the story that we don't know. We know right. the we know the allegations that have been in the news and the domestic violence, right. and then we know about the situation with the fight at the bar. We know those things, but I really think that there's more to it because, like you said, she never fully developed that character, and they had him film both scenes. Before that last allegation even came out, he had already he, now the the bar fight had already come out, mm-hmm. and the first domestic violence allegation had come out. But this last situation where his wife filed for divorce and said that he right. threatened to kill her and kill himself that hadn't been public prior to them filming those scenes, whether he's going to live or die. Right. And he said that on Tom Joyner that they filmed both scenes, and he Tom Joyner asked him. When did you find out y'all were going to do two scenes? He said, when I showed up for work that day. So he was already on the film. Yeah, he was character. already, His right. Character. So I, but I feel like there might, like, and just like with anything else, stuff will get leaked. Right. We'll find out, oh, he was coming late to the set. Oh, he was missing rehearsals. Oh, he didn't he know didn't his know lines. lines. You see what I'm saying? Know. We're going to find out that stuff. I feel like that's kind of the thing that's going to come in a couple of months. Okay. It's going to come down the road. Mm-hmm. I think it's more to it. I don't think it's just the, alle- I don't think that helped. Don't get me. Right, right. But I don't think it was just the allegations that caused him to lose his job because I feel like he was written either or. Okay. Well, not, 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 from what I heard about the incident at the bar, the bridal, the wedding reception or whatever it was, I mean, let's be honest. If he was Columbus Short, the dude at the wedding or wherever it was, and somebody made a disparaging remark to his wife, as females, we would expect our men to step up mm-hmm. and defend our honor. But he whooped that nigga ass. Did because, you see his face? But this is, okay, being married to an angry man, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I ain't mad, and I'm just, I ain't saying it's right, but I'm just saying there's only so much you can say. <laughs> Gotta fight every night just to prove, prove my, my love. love. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is something. There's something to be said about a man defending his woman. Yeah. I can agree to that, and it gave me a little bit more respect for him. But it's one thing to, to beat somebody to defend the honor of your wife, and it's another thing to go psycho. It ain't somebody. Columbus' fault, dude. Was a punk and couldn't take a hit. But to, me, <laughs> but to me, I think Columbus is still a punk. And you, and what, what I think he needs to kind of check in with is how you manage your stress. How do you manage your, your anger? Your anger. Right. Your anger. Your anger. Okay. Okay. He's clearly so angry. He is an angry black. Man about somebody's somebody. is it because he's short? Is it the little man syndrome? Is it the little man syndrome? Little you think because maybe the hip hop is not? He, but it's he, he, he not crazy. He can't, but, he can't but, probably lock it no more. But is it a little man syndrome or is it? Oh, that's that nigga Columbus short right there. He think he is. He watch I take his woman. But, but no, but it, but, it, it, but the, here, here the thing is with that. You have you are successful. Mm-hmm. When do you get to a point where you know what? Uh, oh yeah, you just want to be me. Because my thing is this: all this money I got, too. You can I call me give whatever the hell fuck, right? you, you want. Can call, you what? can call me what? You a snaggle tooth pussy, you watch my show, and dude. I'll be like, thank you. You know exactly. Appreciate. But, but if we talk about, so we bring it just to wrap 
when we talk about Mimi, when we talk about Portia and Kenya, when we bring it back to Columbus Shore, all of these are examples of people who don't have a strong sense of worth. Okay. That right. because they Preaching. don't have a strong right. sense of who they are, other feet, other beings, other incidents can take them out of the character, the brand that they established in in society. Now, if we get back to the root of who we really are, it wouldn't shake you. Because I bet if Diane Carroll was somewhere and somebody said something crazy to her, she no, laugh in face. she'll laugh in their face. Because who are she's you She's a come fucking to lady. But she's <laughs> Diane Carroll <laughs> or is a fucking lady. Portier, even when he was, you know, tr trying to get some of his stuff together. You see what I'm saying? I, they need to get to a bigger, a bigger place on understanding who they are. So we're going to move on to our next topic now, which is, hopefully, well, let's, let's say this. Hopefully, Columbus Shorts, or where it go, he can bounce back. they just going to make another, um, they're going to make a, uh, 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 what is it? Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for him. Good job, dude. You're making a good Right. They're going to make another Stomp of Yard part three, so they <laughs> come his comeback. The, the homecoming. The homecoming. <laughs> the homecoming. <laughs> So we're gonna move on to Donald Sterling now. Okay, so let me all right, let me give y'all the background on Donald Sterling. This motherfucker right here. I woke up this morning to this bitch, okay? So I'm going to my Facebook because I do that every morning because I have a fucking problem, okay? That's what I do in the morning. I, I look at my Facebook. You roll over. I roll over. <laughs> I do too. I do too. And I look at my night. Facebook. What did I miss? So I am scrolling okay. through my timeline. Right. Deep code out your eyes. Right. I am scrolling through my timeline and it is full of this sterling mother mm, really bitch. Okay, so Dur Donald Sterling is the owner of the L.A. Clippers. Mm -hmm. There was a videotape that was, I mean, an audio tape that is leaked of him speaking to his girlfriend. His girlfriend, who was half Asian, half black. As Martin said, black and east. Black and east, okay. She is, he is, um, they're arguing, you know, clearly they had some sort of disagreement or something. And basically he's angry because she put a picture of her with Magic Johnson on Instagram, on her Instagram account. And his thing is, basically, if you listen to the tape, it all boil, it boils down to him saying, look, you can be friends with black people and cool. You just don't have to let everybody know that you friends and cool with black people. Don't put it on your Instagram. I don't want you advertising to people that they're at our games. Motherfucker, we can look at the damn stands and know they're at your games. They're the fucking L.A. Clippers. Who the fuck else can afford? Look, okay. Because the rich people go see the Lakers. So the po we know who Woo! went to go see the fucking LA Clippers. <laughs> all right. Neither here nor there. So, and she's like, you do know who I am, right? Like, you know that I'm mixed. And he was like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you mean right now. I mean, you can hear him like, he's not even making the connection to what she said. I'm mixed. Like, I am part black. She was like, you want me to deny who I am? He was like, wait a minute. And he's being real smooth with it. I'm not telling you to deny who you are. You just don't have to tell everybody. So it's some. So basically, the whole she thing now. Leave old balls alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's old. old. He yeah, is old. Down. Right. Well, and he Them clearly some rich old balls. There right. clearly yeah. is some rich old balls going on there. And so the whole controversy all day long has basically been that um, you know the Clippers are racist, and this is that the owner of the Clippers, I should say. So Matthew Johnson released a statement. He's released a couple of a couple of statements. I've been again. Coming up on my Twitter and stuff, um, where he basically is saying, you know, he's saying that he feels sorry for his friends that he knows that works for the Clippers. People like Doc Rivers, who's the coach, and other people who play. Because, I mean, that's their job. And, you know, um, this man is, has also been sued. He, he's a real estate mogul. He's also been sued um, for discrimination practices and who he rents and sells his properties to and that kind of thing. Um, also, a former employee sued him for racial discrimination. Oh. So it's not like this is some, something new. Right. Um, the other thing I just I just saw it just popped up on my um, on my phone that LeBron James has really basically released a statement saying, "Yeah, there's really no room for that in this league." Now he has Donald Sterling, in fairness to him, before we have this conversation, has released a statement saying, "Look, I'm not racist." That was an altered tape. The woman who released the tape, she's mad at me. She told me she was going to get back at me, and that's what this is. But if you and again, if you listen to the tape, that it may be edited, but that's him saying these things. Like she's not putting words in his mouth. Well, the first sign of racist, being a racist, is saying I'm it's not a racist. Right, right, right. So right. Let's just start there. Right. I am not. I got a whole lot. Whenever of black you got it, whenever you got it, you know, to, to deny make that statement. Right. Make that statement right. exactly. And, and then the second one is. I have black friends. I, have black friends. <laughs> I can name them. 
I can time I hire him. I hire him. I can time him. Stop paying well. You no, know, Thomas has been my friend for 45 years. Now, he's also my caddy at the golf club. Right, you know, right. His daddy, my chauffeur. Right, right. But, right. Know. Don't know, Thomas like, don't know where you, you live. But when you start to declare your black friend and you count, I, I don't know how many black friends I have. Right. Because they're my friends. I don't sit here and count and say. Right, right, right. But, and, you know, and, and, and vice versa. I don't know how many I mean, white friends I have. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, vice count. versa. Right. So I don't count it's, them. It's, so when you started declaring you're not a racist. Listen, I need when to work started, for a job. They're not called. Right. <laughs> when you started naming them. Right. Right. We had the man classics, had too many drinks. And we need a ride. We need, a ride. We need somebody that's not going to get pulled over, so we call our white friends. Right. Well, see, that come in handy. But <laughs> I, think, I just think him start, starting off with, I'm not a racist, clearly defines that you are that racist. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that you're trying to tell her to keep her blackness to a minimum. Right. That right there is another <laughs> sure right. sign. Um, I just think, well, now, not in defense of Mr. Sterling. But given his age and probably the lifestyle that he lives, he probably think it's okay. That's a good point. He probably think it's okay because this is the way he was raised. Right. This is how life was because there are certain things from our generation that we know to be hold true for us. Mm-hmm. And we hold on to these things. Mm-hmm. And when we see someone doing something, say, in their late teens, early 20s, we're like, Lord, me hold, what, really, bitch? Right. <laughs> but that's... Because because a generation of upbringing mm-hmm. is different. Right. Not saying he's right, not saying he's wrong, but in his mind, this is part of his justification. Right. But now I will say on the other side of that, that him being a um, large business owner and being able to employ different people, mm-hmm. he needs to learn to keep these comments to, to himself. To himself. Right. And I don't mean in a private conversation. I mean Because as we know, himself. nothing is private anymore. Yes. Like, yes. Uh, yeah, in your head. And I think, to himself. So what you're saying... Because he's of a different generation, I think this is an example Mm -hmm. of where you are in this day and age. Because previous generations, he didn't have to worry about people taping him and all those other things. Mm -hmm. So So imagine what he has said, you know, prior to technology. And in his younger days when he was a little Spitfire. Yeah. Right. He might have, right. he might have been a car. I can't remember. We don't know. Yeah. Right. But these are stuff that he needs to learn. So his PR person, manager, whoever he has, right. needs to use this as a learning tool and say, keep again, keep it to yourself. And I don't right. mean private conversation to yourself. Or right. Bet your right. girls better. Cause old dude with your old balls, you gotta be careful who <laughs> right. you decide you're gonna have a relationship exactly. with. They don't make the mistress the way they used right. to. And let's be clear. Oh. Let's be clear about something. This dude is an old school real racist because yeah. he didn't give a fuck that that picture was Magic Johnson. He said, I don't, just don't put no pictures of you with black men on Instagram. He didn't care. President right. Obama. It could have been the, the, the poor homeless dude on the corner or a millionaire like Magic yes. Johnson. He said, I don't give a fuck. He's black. So this old school racism right now, here. He's not even making the rich exception because some people make the rich black yeah, man. Yeah, but I don't get. But, but, well, this is this is it's, what's confusing to me is that the girlfriend is mixed. Yeah. So yeah, right. are you on the Asian side of it? Well, clearly. Because it's exotic. It's the extension. So you just forget it exists. I'm not going to even pay attention to the fact. Well, the old man slave master. <laughs> Female slave syndrome. Well, you, you're right. I got me the yep. pretty you look one, at it like that. The uh-huh. nice Ferrari, but, the little. But she, she could be foreign as long as she don't do too much. The girl, she doing too much talking. You questioning me? Mm-hmm. He got to train him a better one. And but get you know him a what? younger one or do something. Cause you cause now the mistresses and the little I can't they, right, they right. getting a little up. Right. And even his argument. <laughs> they doing all this talk. You see how she how she's questioning him. Right. When, right you want right. me to deny myself? Lady, you are an extension of him and you are to put on a pretty dress. Seen and, and not heard. Shut the fuck up and have you a <laughs> chance. And a smile and go get your bag. <laughs> when he goes to fly you somewhere to meet him when he's making a business deal. Right. You putting too much credit in right. yourself. And it's funny, if you listen to the tape, if you listen to the tape, he kind of throw a little subtle threat out. He said, you know what? I don't even feel like going to Europe now. Oh, that's oh, supposed oh, to oh, 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 I'm supposed to get mad. We ain't going oh, to Europe now. Soon. Right. Well, 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 well I think that's what they're trying to say in his his statement from his people saying that she's just a scorned woman and she threatened to get even with him. But the tape is only from April 9th. So even if that's the case, that happened two weeks ago. Right. So it's, it's not like this was a year ago no, and she right. just released it. That she happened on April 9th. 
So it's not like, you know, this is a long thing. But you know, we, they said it best back in um, Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. Uh, uh, remember when uh, Mookie okay. and the one of the Italian sons in a restaurant, mm-hmm. and he was like, well, Sammy, not right, Sammy, dudes, they, Sammy Davis Jr. is not really black. Right. You know, we, right. So there are some of us, uh, some of the darker pigmentation. Right. Like and that's said, what I'm saying. He don't even get that exception. Mac Johnson mm-hmm. didn't get a yeah, pass. But you know, but this <laughs> with him. Okay, think about it. He's the owner of the Clippers. Mm-hmm. So he's here. He's a little bit higher. Right. You got Magic Johnson who's down here. So in his mind, regardless of how much money Magic Johnson owns, the owner always has more than the players. Mm-hmm. So I'm an owner. You're a player. Regardless of what level you have with all the size you had, you once were a player. player. And at one mm-hmm. time, I could have owned you, traded you, and did what I want. Is he going to apologize to the... Okay. Well, it's going to be interesting because, like I said, that just broke this morning. So, on the next, we'll do a follow up. We're going, to, we're going to come back to that on the next one because I'm sure they're going to be, like I said, it's been popping up. It's been updates all day, so I'm pretty certain it's going to be some more, some updates as we go Don't forward. Apologize. Don't I mean that's how you feel? Don't, I'd rather know. I want to know where you coming from. So, so we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch gears a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna have a, a, a seg. Um, I'm gonna give me a brief. Once a week, we're going to do a brief review of something on TV. And what I'm going to do today is a brief review of the Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Now, let me say this. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just started watching <laughs> Game of Thrones. And I see it. It's, it's horrible. horrible. Oh. It's horrible. Oh. <laughs> but each episode, each season is only 10 episodes and you can watch it. Yes. I'm going to say this. I caught up on all four episodes in, in a week. Okay? Because yes. here's the thing. Once I started... And I got into the story. Seasons. Seasons. Four, seasons. Four, four, seasons. Okay. Did I say episodes? Yeah. My bad. All four seasons. And let me say this to y'all. Good job, It's a thank you. Yes, thank you. It is um it's a book. Now I have no intention of reading the books and I love to read, but it's a lot. And I'm not gonna go back and read those damn books. But when I tell you that my two favorite characters are Tyrion and Khaleesi. Okay, which one is Tyrion? The midget? Tyrion is the, the dwarf. Let's be politically dwarf. correct. Yes, thank little, you. We don't call him midget. It's, it's a little person. It's a little, little person. person. We're sorry. Do you but say his name is Peter Dinklage. Right, in real life. But when I say Good that, he mix. is absolutely hilarious. Yes, I love and him. And I love him. And where he is right now, this is a spoiler alert, I'm sorry. He is in jail right now for being accused of killing his nephew. Joffrey Day! <laughs> See? Woo! <laughs> No, that's what I said. You, I was like, you need to watch. I know the boy to die. I was telling oh. you, you need to watch the next episode. I gotta watch it. But was it horrible? Was it horrible? It really wasn't. It was so oh, anticlimactic because I needed him to be tortured like he yes. tortured other Balls people. Balls ripped off. Head right. Off. Something. Because he was, oh my God, he was terrible, y'all. See, y'all didn't watch it. Yes. So he I was terrible. Well. He's on 15, 16. So he is Over giving me life to right now. So to pr- to, for people who haven't seen it, to put it in perspective, so what... What's happening with this young man? He's a product. See, of, she always got a social work. Oh, he's, he's a product of incest. So he's um, crazy. His parents are twins, right? And that they have sleep a, together. Yeah, that out together. And they mm-hmm. they have multiple children together. He's the right. oldest. So if you believe in the, in you know um, siblings, the, the, you know the the mental because the, the fact that they're twins means, means they share. Like that. Well, they're. they're they're well, they're, they're closer to j- chromosomes than any of us. Yeah, on our yeah, yeah. And so the other thing is, he was raised in um, privilege. He really didn't hear no a lot, mm-hmm. and he really his mother coddled him while his father didn't really spend the time with the him. guy he thought was his father, right? Yeah. He, who was the king at the who time? Was the king, right. Yeah, right? So he moved into a position he wasn't ready. Another person who didn't have a good sense of himself. He's an adolescent trying to figure out what his boundaries are. Surrounded of, around yes men. Right. So who told him he could do whatever he wants to do. And so, he did. And, and he so did. he was with his great uncle who was the hand of the king is saying, you know what? I get that you a little off and you're a little freaky. We need an outlet. Your stepfather, the man you thought was your father, was a drunk and a womanizer. So to try to keep him together, people kept him fed and kept him with bitches. Now let me figure out for and you... Drunk. And drunk. So for you, let me figure out what your vice is. Because we got to reel you in. Because you crazy. But we don't want to lose you having power. Right. So his uncle tried to find him bitches. He ain't want to fuck nobody. Right. Then his he, killed, he, killed, he killed him. Animals. He took pleasure in killing the yeah. prostitute. And it was just... And his uncle loves a whore. Yes, he loves her. Loves that, her. That T-shirts, little, banners, he loves her. That little person be getting it in. Okay? Can't that's the first... Him. That's how we were introduced to him and he was in the whorehouse in the first episode. The thing, the thing about the uncle... What's his name? 
Tyrion. Tyrion. The thing about Tyrion. I'm gonna get a free Tyrion t shirt. Yeah, and I'll wear it with you. Get, I love Give me one. The thing about Tyrion is this. Yes, as they like to call him, he's half a man. That's what all the people, the townspeople joke about, call him he's half a man. But the thing is, he's more man than his nephew could ever grow to be if he had mm-hmm, survived. Mm-hmm. He's more man than the fa- his own father. Mm-hmm. Because you see him, you see his shortcomings when you first see him. That's the first thing you know is his shortcomings. Right, right. But you don't realize the intellect he has behind it, the power he has behind it. Right. So we're going to, all right, so we're going to come back to Game of Thrones because I didn't get a chance to talk about my bitch Khaleesi's the dragon lady. That is my ah, bitch. Mother we're gonna talk about, right, we're going to talk about her next week. And I if you haven't, yeah, I'm going to need you to catch up on Game of Thrones. We're going to get the last four minutes to Trouble Clef. She is going to give us her, the weekly segment of adventures and dating. So here's the thing. Some of us are single, some of us are divorced and are looking. So, Trouble Clef is going to give us her latest episode of dating. Well, I mean, the married people, we don't give a fuck about (laughs) (laughs) y'all. We're going to come back to y'all. We're going to give y'all a segment called The the Seven Year Itch. All right, that's y'all going to be y'all segment. We'll come back to y'all later. You can't even name my old segment. Hell no. No, fuck y'all. All All right, go (laughs) ahead. Go ahead, Trouble. Well, I guess... First off, dating. I am on a uh, uh, a dating online site or whatever. Thought it some. I thought I would try it out a little bit, and it's been quite interesting. Some good <laughs> dates, some some bad dates. No real love connections, but I look at it as something to do. So this week, uh, someone who hit me up, nice looking guy, very built or whatever. I hit a little flirt. He flirted back and conversation began well anyway our conversation was very good we talked in the morning on i was on the way to work very good dating and blah 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 what you like what you don't like i thought it was very informative and then we get to a point where he's like well just kind of off the cuff you know when i work out do you work out i'm like yeah well you know i work out i go to you know zumba you know i'm in the gym and blah 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 i'm like yeah i'm not really a gym person but then off the cuff he just kind of asks me well how much do you weigh Mm. oh hell no here's the thing okay I'm a plus size woman. Right. On the site, I say, what is it? Big, big and beautiful. Big, big and beautiful, big, big, beautiful woman. Yeah. You know. Now make no mistake, people. Big and beautiful. I'm fine. Damn! Damn. Make no Damn. mistake. There you okay. go. That is true. Okay, I was a pimp. So, so, you be your bottom bitch. You be your bottom bitch. <laughs> 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 Off the jump. Okay. Right. Right. So All make right. no mistake. So, I mean, but, but the thing is, when, when, when in, in, in online dating, you want to put something out because I'm not going to, I'm not going to put my, myself out there to portray something that I am not. Right. Okay. right. So, right. so I kind of felt, trouble. well, dude, if you aren't so concerned about weight and a gym rat and right. size and so forth. Did you see my profile? Because I said it. Because I said it. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 well, I said it. we had you thinking, really bitch? Yeah. Yes. Really bitch. Yes. Yes. Really bitch. And I mean, and, and my thing is this: I was a little offended mm-hmm. because to mm-hmm. me, that's to me. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's not a question to ask. If we dated, gone out, there's a level of comfort. You know, but to me, off the cuff, it kind of asked that question. I thought it was really, really rude. Rude. Because he would have been offended if you would have said, well, how much did you make? No. Or how, or how, how, how big is your dick? Yeah. 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 You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. You, know, I, you, you know, I just I just think that there are just certain personal questions that you, you shouldn't ask. But I think what happens when women don't answer questions on a website like this, mm-hmm. they kind of take it as, oh. She must don't want to say because she's insecure right. okay. about her weight. That's not it at all. Right. It's none of your business. Like it's none of my business if I ask you right. how big your dick is. Right. You right. know. Right. So right. in any case, I haven't talked to him really. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you know, but dude, you didn't even make it to the date. You went, not right. even, and that's the point of of not even being able to get to a point. To, to me, me. Mm-hmm. because you've already made a judgment about me before you even and my th- and, and met me. Right, and the thing is, if you don't like big women, that's cool. Everybody has the thing that they As like. I don't like big men, so everybody has a preference. But here's the thing: I don't, I don't deal with big men when I'm when I look for dating, and I'm, I've been on online websites too. Mm-hmm. They have pictures, or like you said, they they mention it. They say online dating, so. 
So that's been our adventure this week. We're going to come back with part two next week. Because there's a part two to that. Oh, there's always a part Yeah, we'll come back with part two. And we're going to give I the Mary... We're going to get the Mary Hookers mm. some time next week to talk about day adventures in marriage. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Her life is in love. Right. Life is in love. All right. I like that. All right. But I want to sign out and give a shout out to Spike Fish Radio. Thank you so much. And we will talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.